Good morning. I wanted to show you a quick way that you can fix your very own dog vest. This is a um, RC Pets, um, the fleece, um, kind of a mid-season coat. Um, so what I've got here is, and I apologize for the quality of the light down here, but I've got a hole here. Tilly loves to run off leash and especially through thorn bushes and whatnot. So um, she's got a various uh, cuts. I'll show you in a minute. Um, what I've done is I've got some patches off of Amazon and uh, make sure that you're putting the shiny side down on the hole and make sure you've got the hole pushed together so there's no openings there. Put your patch on and iron it up. Um, I've done this. Sorry, I'm probably shaking the camera there, but I've done this a few times and people actually remark on, oh, isn't that a cute little heart on on her uh, jacket or whatnot. And um, I just make them as I need them. Um, so right now she's got a, that's somewhat a flower, a stir um, over here, quite a bit more um, holes she's <laughs> maintained over this way. So I've got some hearts a four leaf clover and uh, another star. Now this star, no worries. This one, I went a little too close to the edge. I didn't make my star big enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out a bigger star and put it over the whole thing. Um, that'll cover that up. Um, this is a butterfly that I've put on because she's got some smaller holes here, but I don't want them to rip into bigger holes. So I'm gonna put probably uh, maybe a strip of butterflies or something down this way and uh, so again this is one of the dog vests that you can buy it is a nice fleecy vest uh, polyester recycled polyester and spandex machine wash uh, cold gentle dry flat do not bleach or dry clean um, so it doesn't say don't iron um, and I've ironed it um, and it's just fine. So these things come in various different sizes and they are expensive. So fix your own instead of throwing them out. Um, they might make good dusters, but why not keep it as long as you can? Tilly loves that one. The other thing I'm going to show you uh, that I'm going to do with my watercolor while I have my iron out is I am actually going to iron some of these pages because they are after getting warped with the water I'm gonna put my Norwex cloth on there any cloth will do I just happen to have a Norwex handy and I'm going to iron this down so that it's nice and flat and that way it sticks in your frames better so there you go I'm gonna have to iron this one down a little bit more, but, and that cloth may be just a little bit too um, thick actually to use. So I'm actually gonna just use it right on the paper. And that worked actually better. So voila, much better. Makes it much flatter. And so this is my journal. I am going to go through these pages one by one and flatten out my drawings so a little bit of washi tape um, does wonders on them as well and so that's my harp that I love to play and just some doodles a little garden my compass and also a paralegal so compasses are pretty much this was actually turned was a poppy but it kind of looks more like a rose <laughs> sometimes painting isn't what you imagine it to be and then I got into some animals along the way so I am like I said I am going to take a few minutes here and just iron down my sketchbook um, and continue sketching and you can see that it makes the uh, pages all 
um, warped and whatnot. So I'm just going to go down and get them flatter so they'll be easier to, uh, to stay together. I guess they breathe better like that too. But anyway, have yourself a fabulous day. Um, God bless you all and enjoy as much out time, outside time as you can get. Um, all I used for this exercise was one patch, shiny side, good side, any kind of colors you want, a pair of scissors, my iron, and a pen, a pencil to draw out the shapes. You can actually use some stencils if you uh, don't want to draw by hand um, and uh, that will work just fine. I've actually done that with some of my, um, I found the stars and the hearts were easier. The four leaf clover was pretty good. Uh, the one that I found a little bit more difficult to cut out was the butterfly because um, I didn't want to cut off his antennas so it might not quite look exactly like a butterfly. But anyway, God bless you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.